Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do a review of the Campagnola Potenza. If you've been following my channel for some time now, you would have uh, you would remember that uh, about a year ago I did a first impressions video about the Potenza group set. Uh, but in that video, I had zero experience in using the group set, and uh, that was one year ago. And um, now I've been riding this uh, group set for about a year. I've done plenty of rides with it and so this video is about a uh, basically a long-term review of the Potenza group set. So uh, I believe the Potenza group set is the only 11 speed group set currently being sold by Campagnolo. They have since moved on to the 12 speed group sets and uh, you can't find the uh, older Chorus 11 and Super Record 11 group sets on their websites anymore. You only see 12 speed and I believe this uh, this Potenza and I think also Centaur is the only are the only two group sets that are 11 speed in the uh, Campagnolo range right now. So let's go ahead and um, begin with this review. Okay, for a start, the Potenza group set has a similar price point to the Altegra R8000 group set, but uh, some people are saying it's um, not on the same level as Altegra. It is, they claim it's somewhere between 105 and uh, Altegra, but I beg to defer on that, um, mainly because uh, the overall weight of the Potenza group set is about 50 grams heavier than um, Altegra, so that's really not much difference. So really that really depends uh, on who you're talking to. Um, overall I would say Altegra is the better group set uh, if, you're, if you're using it for racing or for recreational purposes. Um, just overall a slightly better group set than the than Potenza and uh, Potenza is more of a group set if you want to be if you want to look different from others I guess um, you want something unique or simply because you want something that is uh, has the silver finishing to it to give your bike that vintage look especially good for uh, vintage steel bikes uh, Potenza is the only group set I, I guess in the market today that has a silver finishing. Quality wise it is like I said slightly below uh, Altegra. So if I were to build a bike for overall uh, use like racing or and uh, recreational riding and training and all that I would use say Altegra 8000 instead of the uh, this Potenza and the main reason why I'm using it uh, I have this on my back is because I want something different and also something that is uh, has a silver finishing which makes it unique. So let's have a look at the crank set. Um, the crank set on the for Potenza is I believe a forged crank set um, not uh, meaning it's a bit like the uh, older school alloy group, group set from Campagnolo. It's um, in, re in terms of rigidity, it's a lot stiffer than the other alloy crank sets that I've tested so far, such as the FSA Gossamer. But it is not as, as stiff as the Altegra R8000 crank set, which I have on my other bike, another bike of mine. Um, that is a hollow crank design by Shimano and it has a hollow internal body, which means it's slightly stiffer than this one. And you can actually feel it when you're riding and you don't have to really test it or anything. You don't have to do a lap test, lap test to tell that it's uh, stiffer than this. But the uh, Potenza Crankster is not too bad either. It's still okay, uh, I would say. Um, slightly um, more flex on the Potenza crank set. But uh, the, the main thing I like about the, uh, the crank set is that it re looks really good. It's uh, especially in silver finishing, silver color finishing. Uh, the black one appears a bit dull. Uh, I feel that if, you want, if you're going to go for black, you might as well go for the Shimano R8000 group set or maybe SRAM Force. So, yeah. And now let's move on to the shifters. Um, the shifters are typical Campagnolo shape, uh, very ergonomic. Um, the interesting thing about the these Potenza shifters is that they have the same shape as the Super Record 11 or Chorus 11 group sets. Uh, I have Super Record on another bike and I will do a review of that um, soon. Although I know that uh, Super Record 
11 has been phased out and replaced with the 12 speed version but I'll still do a, uh, a review of that one uh, it's similar to the Super Record 11 group set uh, hoods um, maybe some slight differences in the in the aesthetics and uh, and the, the the lines and all that but the shape is the same the uh, the rubber feels the same even the levers feel the same um, a lot of people say that Campagnolo brake hoods are the best because they feel it's a lot more ergonomic than uh, other brands such as Shimano SRAM but I feel that uh, it's really it's really up to uh, personal preference the Campagnolo brake hood and its rubber feel feels a bit stiff compared to Shimano and SRAM it has a more stiffer feel and more rigid feel to it um, Shimano tends to feel a bit more plush so really I think that, that really depends on uh, personal um, preferences really and I like the shape uh, the, the uh, organic shape here which allows you to uh, grab your grip at the bottom here or at the top here and um, one major difference between this Potenza hood and the the earlier Super Record 11 and Chorus 11 group sets is that the uh, downshift lever as you can see here is uh, bent down like this uh, similar to the EPS uh, group sets and it only shifts one cock at a time like this it does not shift uh, it, it does not allow you to shift two or three cocks such as like what you find in the uh, Super Record group sets but um, Although it seems like a disadvantage, but actually I, I prefer the shape and design of this particular lever compared to the uh, Super Record 11, mainly because um, I can reach the, the downward lever easier when I'm on the drops than uh, on Chorus or Super Record. As you can see, I can reach with the thumb and shift, but uh, with Super Record, it's a bit difficult because it's straight and occasionally if I shift with the thumb I might occasionally make mistakes like shifting two cocks instead of one and with this one the uh, it's less stiff it requires less uh, force to activate compared to super record and uh, it overall has a shima overall it has a Shimano uh, feel to it uh, this one requires uh, very little force as well, the upshift levers and it has more travel as you can see here compared to the older Campy group sets it has more more travel more travel on the uh, upshift levers compared to the uh, earlier ones which probably will shift at this point so yeah, uh, Campy Campagnola has decided to follow um, sorry to say this, is they, they have decided to follow the uh, Shimano feel and style of shifting on their newer uh, range of group sets um, which I think is not a bad thing um, earlier ones have been more clunky require more force to shift uh, it feels more uh, stiffer and all that while on this one it's softer it requires less energy to push and I can even shift with my pinky finger when I'm on the top like this so that's one thing I like about the shifters is that they have a softer action uh, not so stiff as the earlier Campagnolo group sets and um, yeah shifting accuracy is fairly good um, very fast shifting compared to um, earlier 10 speed group sets from Shimano and uh, SRAM uh, I've used SRAM 10 speed SRAM Force 10 speed on my earlier another bike before I upgraded um, this one shifts a lot faster um, and it's also fairly accurate if you set up the drivetrain correctly um, it is a little bit more finicky compared to 10 speed but um, once you set it up right it shifts pretty pretty good um, so let's now move on to the brakes brake calipers they are um, the classical classic Campagnolo skeleton brake design they provide a lot of uh, fairly good braking power uh, I find it's more than enough to break and a fairly good modulation and uh, they look great and this one this particular design is a lot easier to adjust compared to the uh, 11 speed super record oh I forgot one thing to mention about the uh, 
the the brake levers is that they you can have a quick re release here where you can actually release the lever I believe like this you can actually release the brake lever and uh, put it back with this key pin this pin now the front and rear derailleurs although they have the older design uh, for road bikes now we have the, the ones that um, go backwards like the mountain bike uh, grip sets this one is uh, fairly a bit old school but it's um, it's pretty good it shifts well um, have no issues with it so far uh, I like the silver finishing same with the front lever and um, it's, uh, the front lever has fairly uh, a long arm which means um, compared to older ones and um, when shifting I require it requires very little force as you can see when I show shift and I, it's fairly easy to go up from the uh, small chain ring to the bigger one it doesn't require a lot of effort I feel that uh, the 11 speed super record requires more force when pressing the lever and uh, on potenza I, I'm actually it's easier to shift to uh, to the bigger chain ring and um, shifting on the rear cluster is also good um, I really can't tell the difference when I'm shifting from the smaller cork here to the bigger one here versus the uh, second largest cork to the biggest cork it actually feels the same throughout the 11 corks and by the way this is not a Campagnolo uh, cluster cassette this is a Sunrise cassette goal cassette which I picked purely for aesthetic reasons but the bottom bracket design here is similar to what you have on the cars and super record group sets but the bearing here is steel bearings instead of uh, ceramic and there is a huge difference there in the resistance um, you can tell right away if you're using a super record crank set uh, if, you're, if you're using a if you're using a super record bottom record you can tell right away the difference between this one and a, a super record because the resistance on the Super record bottom record is so much lower than the steel steel bottom records, but than the steel bottom record bearings that are provided with the uh, Potenza crank set. Anyway, if you don't like the uh, resistance, if you want uh, better performing bearings, you can always swap the uh, steel bearings for ceramic bearings. They are available on eBay. So yeah, overall, um, I am satisfied with the um, Potenza group set. Uh, it is a Pretty good, good value for money group set uh, in the Campagnolo range, costing about the same price as uh, Altegra R8000. I know some people have the opinion that uh, Altegra is the better group set, and I don't disagree with that. It's just that it, Campagnolo has a special, special place in the market, especially if you're looking for something different, something with a silver finishing. Uh, the Potenza group set is a good, good choice. But if you're, in my opinion, if you're building a bike for uh, overall use, racing and recreational riding and all that, just go for the R8000, uh, the Altegra R8000 R8 group set. Uh, Campagnolo is, after all, known to be a pretty pricey brand, and uh, it is what it is. So yeah, I hope you found this video useful. Um, please hit the like button if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more future videos like this. So till the next video, I'll see you again. Goodbye.